love how challenging it is. Every day you learn something new, and that's the same with Chinese. Like every day there's something new that you can learn about it. I'm really excited to see what will come with my language skills and to be able to have a ton of opportunities. Since kindergarten, we literally knew nothing about Chinese, and by fifth grade, you could really tell that it had improved. And now, in seventh grade, it has gotten a little bit better. Vamos a ver, quizás quizás va a cambiar, porque ve. Hay nieve hoy día. Es como el año pasado estaba mucho nieve y no hay mucho nieve. Eso es como un ciclo. No hay nieve y después hay mucho y después no hay y después hay mucho. Yo recuerdo un año cuando estaba lloviendo en Navidad. Yo sí. Sí, aprendí mi español en el país. ¿Qué personas saben? Well, fluency wise, I think you know we're really pleased and proud right now that our school within a school model is bringing our second language fluency levels up to and into the intermediate ranges, preparing them very well for their entry in the middle school. Now that we've gotten to middle school, like we've really started to fine tune what we're learning and like focus more on grammar and how we're speaking and like the different tenses and things like that so that we can actually go and talk to people and not, sound, not stand out. Now it almost feels like English except just a little bit harder. As a former Spanish teacher, I cannot wait to have these students within our school to see these high levels of fluency, to bring them to even higher levels, not only linguistically, culturally, it will just bring a whole new dynamic to this high school. Within Immersion at Minnetonka High School, students have a variety of course options from advanced placement, international baccalaureate, in Spanish and Chinese. For example, when a ninth grader enters the high school, they could take advanced placement Spanish or Chinese. We'll give them a great opportunity to take college level courses as soon as they get into the high school. The scale of our program, now seeing it grow and evolve over the past seven to eight years, is really, really special. We're really leading the, the way in the amount of kids now and families who trust it because they've seen over a period of years now the results. And it helps you explore new cultures that you would ordinarily not get um, at your home or even with the curriculum that the school has developed otherwise. It's always really neat when you need to talk to somebody that has Spanish as their first language. A lot of times they're always like wow that you have their, you have their language and they're really proud of that. That is our job is to build a, a core reading, writing, speaking, listening, fluency level that prepares our kids to really go where they want to go, where their passions and interests lead as they move into middle and high school. Possibly pursue a career in Chinese and like going to China and like helping people in China, like helping special needs kids at like hospitals. If you wanted to be a lawyer and you could, you could do that in a different country because of your, fluent, um, your fluency. In college I think I'd like to have a minor in Spanish and I can use that. For instance, if I'm a doctor, I can treat patients that, are, that speak English or Spanish and you can do, there's so many other jobs that have, you get like almost double the amount of potential. Mm -hmm.